hello there, I'm Professor Joel, and welcome to another exciting episode of Planet Scooby Reviews. Today we are covering When You Witch Upon a Star, which originally aired on October 26, 1985, and it is episode number 8 of the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. Here we see the Scooby-Doo gang dealing with like three incompetent witches who are given massive power by like the queen witch of all time, and she can end the world and chaos ensues if she gets her power back through these three witches. Anyway, enough of my jibber jabber. Let's get on with the review. The episode begins with the gang pigging out at Vincent Van Gogh's castle. Vincent's supernatural monitor picks up some unusual activity of the Broomski sisters who are being approached by a demon cloud. The Broomski sisters are not very good witches and cannot even fly their brooms. The demon cloud hands the Broomski sisters a black book of spells that promises that their powers will grow, provided they recite spell number 13 at Stonehenge. It's up to the gang to get the spell book back before the foolish witches destroy the world. Looks like you got witches, Vince. Yes, the Bruski sisters. <laughs> I've seen them before. Oh, they're harmless, really. They can barely get their brooms to fly. Sisters of the Coven, this is the Black Book of Spells. Follow the incantations as written, and your powers will grow. However, you must do one thing. You must join me at Stonehenge at midnight tonight to recite spell number 13. Spell 13? At midnight tonight? Certainly. It will make us the most powerful witches in the world. Sisters, we're in business. They're going to be the most powerful witches in the world? Vincent, meanwhile, plans on hunting down the demon mist in the zone of the eternal evil where the darkest spirits are trapped. I'm going to hunt down that demon mist in the zone of eternal evil where the darkest spirits are trapped. If they don't recover that book, no amount of luck will save us. Oh, powers locked within this stone, transport me now to the evil zone. I hope I find that mist before it finds me. We found the witch's house. Now to get inside and grab the book. The gang find the witch's house and they come up with a plan to steal the spell book. <laughs> Good day, madam. Crazy Shaggy here, your crazy traveling salesman with the craziest buys in the universe. Meet my associate, Crazy Scooby. Meanwhile, inside the witch's house, the three witches start preparing the ingredients they need for spell number 13. Posing as traveling salespeople, Shaggy and Scooby, along with Flim Flam and Scrappy, distract the witches in an attempt to get the spellbook back. They fail, and the three witches take off. We are witches of the night. We're so hot, we're out of sight. In the spirit zone, Vincent Van Gogh meets up with Marcella, who possesses the demon mist. Marcella is able to restrain Vincent with a spell and steals his necklace, rendering him powerless. Fortunately, later on, Vincent is able to get his necklace back by Marcella's adorable lackey named Eidsvik. I can't see a thing. What are you doing here? We meet again, Vincent Van Gogh. Marcella! Oh, I was swept here by a spectral wind after I escaped your chest of demons. Mm, from one trap to the next. <laughs> you never were terribly clever, were you, Marcella? <laughs> no! Oh, in a short while, Vincent, my loyal sisters will rescue me from this zone. I wouldn't count on those three witches if I were you, Marcella. With the Book of Spells, they can't fail. And I'm afraid you can't follow me. At least not without your lovely necklace. Get used to Mr. Van Gogh, I'd say. He'll be staying here quite a while. In fact, until the end of time. Too bad I can't stay and watch your final hours, Van Gogh. And too bad you don't have better taste in jewelry. Heisvik, where are my gowns? 
I need to dress for the mortal world. Blood red, my favorite color. We then get a few more disguise skits where the gang tried to get the spell book back. And my favorite is Daphne perhaps dressing up as a witch. This is the territory of Witch Daphne and her band of nasty meanies. Where are the Broski sisters? <sighs> Say, that's the Black Book of Spells, isn't it? At Stonehenge, the gang get their paws on the spell book and Vincent teleports out of the spirit zone and adjusts spell number 13 before handing the book back. The three bumbling witches cast spell number 13, which casts Marcella back into the demon chest. Vincent also takes back the book of spells and everyone breaks into a song and dance. Spell 13. Marcella, trapped inside your zone, we send you now to a different home. In your new home, we hope you'll rest. You're going back to the demon chest. No, that's the wrong spell. Nighty night, Marcella. We are witches of the night. We're so hot, we're out of sight. Cooking. Na 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 I give this episode a 7 out of 10. I think this is like my lowest score yet. This makes for a great Halloween season episode. And in fact, I watch this around Halloween. But any other type of year, time of year, I mean, I think my patience would be tested with this one. Like, cool to watch in October, but throw this on in March and I would not like this episode at all. I was not a huge fan of the three incompetent witches. They were just too silly for me and oh, they're like little mini theme song deal they had going on. Just It just annoyed me. Plus the Scooby gang were just kind of scripted to wear disguises for most of the episode to kind of trick the witches. So this one's played more for laughs and chills. And I gotta say, I don't, I do like when Daphne dresses up, but I prefer if she didn't, I'd rather have straight Daphne rather than comedic Daphne, if you know what I'm saying. But who doesn't want to see Daphne in different costumes? I mean, we all, we all do, so I can't be too mad with it, but I, I just prefer when Scooby and Shaggy and sometimes Scrappy dress up, but everyone else can stay, stay normal. I just kind of, I think for the spookiness, it works better for me in that regard. Anyway, I was more intrigued with this episode with Vincent in the Phantom Zone. It had like an interesting kind of Doctor Strange feel to it, to it because he was like surrounded by all the ghouls in the zone and he's in this just, you know, just ethereal world that's not Earth. And it's it's really cool. And I wish we saw more of Marcella in this one. We don't get too much of her unfortunately it's more focused on the witches and i wish again i complained about this in the last episode i wish she just suddenly became all powerful but vincent maybe had a twist up his sleeve where where he just kind of like beat her at her own game of chess you know what i'm saying i think that would have been cooler or maybe she became all powerful and then the gang have to really figure out how to capture her and take all that power away from her Instead, we just kind of get like a typical ending, like they kind of ran out of time and they just had to sum it all up. So that's why it gets a 7 out of 10 for me. Still a pretty good episode, a very good Halloween episode. But yeah, that is my review. Anyway, join me next week when I will be covering It's a Wonderful Scoop. And until then, stay spooky. Spooky.